and two sports, Kanoa Leahy. How you doing everybody? Let's talk sports. You could recognize that voice anywhere and what a voice it was. A simple, hey kid, how you doing? Was usually the first thing you'd hear when talking to Les Kiter and it always seemed to make your day. Known affectionately as the general, Kiter, a broadcasting legend, died today at the age of 89. He is without a doubt the best to have ever occupied this seat. He was a sportscaster for the New York baseball and football giants, as well as the Knicks in the 50s and 60s, announced coverage of the 1968 Olympics, called 12 championship boxing matches in that era. He was also a television sports director in Philadelphia, where he's also considered a legend. Kiter then moved to Hawaii, a place he loved, and announced Hawaii Islander action. He was famous here for his recreations of Islander road games. He also served as a longtime host and MC for the Honolulu Quarterback Club. And of course there was his tenure as a sports director here at KHON2 where he sat next to Joe and kept the people of Hawaii informed and entertained for years. But the general didn't just impact broadcasting here and abroad, he impacted the sports communities in which he lived. I first met him you know, about 25 years ago, just when he was first starting to work at the stadium, he had left uh, Channel 2, and we were working to try and uh, uh, promote Hawaii as a sports destination. And we were at a hearing at the legislature once, and he told the legislators, if you want to run with the big dogs, you can't pee like a puppy. <laughs> He's probably the only guy in Hawaii who could get by with that. I was his sports producer, and he said, where are you going, kid? I said, Son, I'm giving up. He said, no, you're not. Three days later, I was his sports reporter. I still remember thinking how fortunate I was to be so young in the business, to be brand new at it and interning and having someone so legendary read words that I put on a piece of paper. And, and it was remarkable to listen to him. He was the man that I was just so proud to have an opportunity to work with. To say that you worked with someone who sat alongside the greatest athletes in the history of sports. And I think that's what I'm always going to remember less is just the, the great stories. Uh, he mentored me in, in writing. He was a stickler for grammatics, for getting things right. Kaido sat alongside KHON anchor Joe Moore, and it was Moore who gave him the nickname The General because of a character Kaido played in some of his Hawaii Five-O cameos. Kaido left KHON in 1993, but continued to be a part of the local sports scene. In 94, he helped launch the Stadium Stars program to teach kids about sports broadcasting. In 99, Kaido was inducted to the prestigious University of Hawaii Sports Circle of Honor. Never had the pleasure of working with him, but when he found out that I was a new hire at KHON and I was going to be the next younger sports guy, um, he made it known that there was a certain amount of pride uh, and prestige, I guess, when he sat in the chair. And, um, you know, he felt it every time he'd see me. Go, Johnny, go! He was a caring man. He had a huge heart, and his Lila meant the world to him. and his children, and his grandkids. That's the man that nobody saw. It was the family man. That's the man I saw. And that's the man everyone will miss. Kider leaves behind his wife Lila, five children, and many grandchildren. He was 89 years old. Marissa Yamane, KHON2 News. He, he was by himself because of the fact he was, he was unique. I mean, the, the, the words that he thought up to describe things. Boom off the wall, wearing his batting clothes tonight. The catcher is behind the, is behind the log. He's going around second hand for third. You should see him run. But it's his vast body of work that he was so good at. And, and he always treated you as an equal. He always treated you as a human being, that we were all in this together. We all shared the same kind of passion for bringing the word of sports to the people. Uh, he, was, he was one of the greatest. Kiter's passing comes on the heels of another legend who died yesterday, former Islander play-by-play -play announcer and longtime Phillies voice, Harry Callis. They will surely 
be sorely missed. They certainly will. Les Keiter, a true original, will have some final memories and thoughts about Les at the end of this newscast. Thanks. I was just sitting here thinking about that nickname, The General, that I happened to give Les mm -hmm. Keiter because when I was a young sportscaster at KGMB and he was the veteran old pro legend already here at Channel 2, we in the same season of Hawaii Five O, I played an Army captain and he played an Army general. So when I would see him around town at different sporting events, as a term of respect, I would yell out, hey, general, and sometimes I would salute him. And it got to be kind of a running gag. And then when we started working together here at Channel 2, me as the news anchor and he as sports, one night on the air, I never called him that on the air, always around the newsroom, off the air. And we were um, chit-chatting about something after his formal sports cast, as you and I mm -hmm. often do. You know, I'll say something, ask you something, and we'll go back and forth. And I said, yeah, but Jen... And I started, oh, I'm going to call him General on the air. And I said, ah, what the heck. General, what do you think of this? And it, from that time on, when it really exploded, and people started you know, yelling to him at the stadium and different events, hey, General. And, <laughs> well, one time, it was probably about five years after that, we were at a lunch together. And people had just all the way into the event and during the luncheon, as we were getting up to leave, he says, you know, I wish in that 5-0 episode I'd played an admiral. And I said, why is that? And he says, because, Keed, I was in the Navy. I can't get used to this <laughs> damn general stuff. True story. And yet didn't the nickname, uh, which became, of course, it's his fit. identity, it just really fit. It really did. He was like the general of Hawaii's sports community. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And as Neil Everett and my father and um, you know, my grandfather, who also knew Les very well, yeah. Um, as they all say, uh, just knowing Les Kiter kind of made you feel better, not only about being in the business, but just it brightened your day when you would talk to the general. It really, really did. Because not only was he so knowledgeable about sports, and not only did he have this tremendous work ethic where he really did his homework for an mm -hmm. event as a play-by-play -play guy, but he was the nicest, kindest yeah. guy, as we've heard all night long from various people. To have and to let these up-and-coming sportscasters all the way to the end uh, understand what it was about and understand his philosophies and his views, uh, it was a really remarkable thing, and it doesn't come along very often. And uh, I just am so happy to have uh, been given the privilege and the honor to not only know him, but to then occupy this seat, which is... Uh, you know, just one of the great honors, knowing that Les Kiter, the general, yeah. once sat here. I, yeah. it's, it's, it is a life that will be celebrated for a long, long time. It certainly is. And I, as I think about the passing this year of Bob Seavey, Barbara mm -hmm. Marshall, and now Les Kiter, it really starts to hit home. I'm 61. To me, one of the hardest things to accept about getting older is experiencing the death of someone you respected and admired and if you were lucky you got to know personally mm -hmm. and with these three people Les Kiter right there at the top of the list it just you know it's hard and then you stop and think what was it David Frost said the only thing you can say about life it goes on mm -hmm. for the rest of us and you look back and you just take every good thing you can out of your experience with the person that's left us. Absolutely. And because of the kinds of people that you just mentioned, the, the kinds of character that they had, the kind of people that they were, um, you know that the general is saying, you guys keep talking about sports and that's you it. keep going to those sporting events and you keep loving what sports brings to the community and beyond. Uh, that's, that's the legacy. That's now our job to carry that on. And we, I haven't meant to exclude you from this conversation, no but, you no know, you problem. didn't work with him, but no. I can just see him up there right now talking to St. Peter. Keed, what do <laughs> yeah. you think about we organize a baseball game with all the greats? Sure, you know what, uh, as I mentioned in the six, his, his spirit definitely lives here at KHON2. And just, uh, just so you know, uh, mm -hmm. in the online social community, uh, namely the Twittering, the mm -hmm. online, uh, a lot of people uh, sending their respects. Uh, you know, to all of you folks that uh, worked with him and the KH went to family. So thank you very much for sending those in. And uh, a suggestion, I think it'd be a great idea for us uh, to salute the general one more time. Why don't Maybe. we? Uh, one, I'm, two, I'm, three. 
You were the best.